Cholesterol is a lipid named from the Greek roots koli means bile, ster means solid, and all because it has an alcohol group. So like the name suggests, it is normally found in bile. Now this cholesterol is biosynthesized in the liver from glucose via the pentose phosphate pathway, which generates NADPH, and also glycolysis, which produces acetyl-CoA. This acetyl-CoA is then metabolized to 3-hydroxy-3-methyl-glutaryl-CoA or HMG-CoA, which is reduced by NADPH in the presence of HMG-CoA reductase. Now, this is a regulatory enzyme for cholesterol synthesis. This gives us mevalonate. Mevalonate is then metabolized via more than two dozen intermediates to form cholesterol. This occurs via the mevalonate pathway. Now you must remember that cholesterol is minimally soluble in water. So because of this, it dissolves in blood at exceedingly small concentrations. So to be transported effectively, cholesterol is instead packaged within lipoprotein. Some of the cholesterol is esterified with fatty acids in a reaction catalyzed by acyl-CoA cholesterol acyl transferase or ACAT to form cholesterol ester. So cholesterol and cholesterol ester are both hydrophobic and with its hydrophobic associate which is triacylglycerol they are now stored in the core of the nascent VLDL particles. VLDL stands for very low density lipoproteins. Lipoproteins are made of fat and protein and serve as vehicles for the cholesterol to travel through the blood. Now, other than VLDL, there are also LDLs and HDLs that are present within your body. LDL stands for low-density lipoproteins and HDL stands for high-density lipoproteins. LDL is considered as the bad cholesterol. It mainly carries cholesterol to your arteries, where it may collect in the vessel and contribute to plaque formation known as arteriosclerosis. And HDL is sometimes called the good cholesterol because it carries cholesterol from other parts of your body back to your liver. Your liver then removes the cholesterol from your body. So coming back to VLDLs. These nascent VLDLs containing cholesterol, cholesterol ester and triglycerides leave the liver via the hepatic vein and progress to the periphery where they're converted to other types so the tissues are able to use them up for different purposes. I hope we answered your question on how cholesterol is transported from the liver towards the peripheral tissues. See you next time on Skadia.com.